Hey, welcome to Well.com, home of TIG time. Hi, I'm Mr. TIG, and in today's segment, we're going to talk about how to prep this heavy wall steel. Actually, this is 4130 chrome molly, and put a saddle in it. And we have a couple of options, a couple of ways of doing it, but are, if you're at home and you're trying to do this, or you have to make a field repair, uh, we're going to show you how you can use the plasma cutter. But before we do that, we need to make the the outline of the exact shape of the saddle. So uh, we're going to use our handy dandy kit here. It's called a Pipe Master. And lo and behold, I've got several different sizes. This happens to be a two inch size. So I, uh, I make sure that this is the right, the right fit up, and it is. So it's a pretty simple tool to use. Just put your part in place and press down. And what that'll do is that that'll give you the shape of your saddle. Now we're gonna we're gonna want to weld this, so we you can see that right now it's got a major gap to it, so it's just impossible. So what we do is we slide this inside the tool, take a sharpie, and you can see I can make a nice nice little contour here I'll do it on both sides okay and that's that's really all there is to it okay so I've got the shape like a smiley now this wall thickness is about 125 to 130 thousandths and you'll see this in uh, in di different frames like uh, the off-road vehicles or uh, monster trucks and things like that. So this is, this is not going to be an easy thing to grind out. Now you have a choice. Uh, you know, at home everybody uh, possibly has one of these. So you can grind it out and it'll take forever and ever and it's not very precision. But if you have a plasma cutter, you can go in and you can plasma cut it out and then just lightly trim it up with this and you're good to go. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to set this up. I'm going to plasma cut it. I'm going to prep it with this grinder. I'm going to weld it. So let me get all my safety gear on and we'll do plasma cutting right now. Okay, I've got my plasma cutter set. Air is on. Uh, I've got this thing marked. I've got the, uh, the little smiley face I'm going to cut out here on top dead center. I'm going to try to do it in one fell swoop, and it'll be a little bit rough cut, but I'm going to uh, clean it up, uh, get rid of all the burrs and everything with this. So uh, got all my gear in place, and I'm ready to go. Okay, made that cut, and again, a little rough edge, but that's okay. I'm going to clean it up here, and it took me a total of about five seconds. I can imagine trying to grind it out with this. Okay, I've, uh, I've loosened the pipe up, turned it over 180, 180 degrees, and I'm getting ready to cut out the other smiler, so it's not going to take very long. Okay, I've got the general shape cut out, as you can see. Now, I'm going to go over to another workbench so I don't uh, get a lot of grinding dust over here. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clean this all up. It's going to take me a total of about two to three minutes to do that. I'll join you in a few minutes. Okay, now that I have plasma cut this and I've done a final grind, I just use a rough grinder on it. Uh, a bench grinder will work as well. Uh, you can see this is the condition that it comes in. You know, so it does have a little bit of a rough finish, but you know, it's not bad at all, especially you start getting into field repairs. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in position and I'm going to create like a T-weld or a saddle weld. I'm going to tack it and weld it and show you the end results. Okay, now I've taken these two pieces of pipe, put them together. I've got about four tack wells. Uh, I'm going to be using this power supply. It's called a Miller Dynasty 
200DX and I've got it set on lift start. So I've already tacked it with lift start. I'm going to weld DC uh, straight polarity. I'm going to be using somewhere around 125 to 130 amps on it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started. If you notice, the, the fit up turned out to be pretty nice. Okay, I'm uh, going to do a little wrap around right here. This is this is merely the root pass. So if you're going to do this for full strength, go ahead and do a root pass. Then you can do a second pass at a later date. You know, the plasma cut does put a little bit of a decarb layer on there. And I did grind it off. I can see a little bit of it here, but really not bad. Okay, I'm going to uh, I'm going to weld this vertical up. And uh, vertical up, it really isn't that difficult. Once you get everything tacked together, get your get your uh, hands propped up, get balanced, just not a problem. Okay, I tied into the, uh, the other weld. I've, I've done about 180 degrees of the weld so it does seem to be well enough pretty good a little got a little gap here but that's you know, kind of be expected it's not a perfect cut but it sure is nice okay I'm doing the uh, the second toe wrap around tries to burn back just a little bit here but it's still filling in pretty good. You can see that it's it's driving in there as a root pass, and that's exactly what you're looking for. Okay, now that we've finished the weld, that was a root pass only. And because this is 125,000 wall thickness, I always recommend going with a root pass TIG. Now, if you want to fill it with some other process, with that MIG process or stick to get a nice fillet in there, that's fine. Or you do a second pass with TIG. Now, obviously, I prefer TIG in, in the root pass and the fill pass. So the fill pass, you may want to go a little larger diameter filler material. Now, this is a, a series that we're going to be doing on fabrication. This happens to be one of the first ones, and we're just showing you a saddle type uh, configuration. So we're going to continue. We're going to get a little more difficult and we're going to use this type of tool as well and we're going to show you how to do like 45s and 60s and odd shapes so as our projects uh, come to us we're going to share them with you so thank you for watching TIG Time I'm Mr. TIG